How to sell digital products online with Gumroad. Hi guys, today we're going to talk about how to sell your digital products online through Gumroad. To start with, we're here right now at gumroad.com and to start our journey, we're going to click start selling. This will take us to the sign up page and over here you can enter your email, your password, you can either connect it to Facebook or Twitter, then create account. Now here right now, we're at the dashboard, the home page of Gumroad. Now we're going to go here and click products. The next thing you're going to do is go over here on the top right, then click new products. And then over here, it's going to ask, ask us what we are going to create. The first, the name we're going to put is how to use Gumroad. Then the next thing is the type, which will be digital product. And then below here is the price of our product we're gonna put ten dollars for the meantime now we're gonna click next to customize now before we continue we're gonna need to create a digital product if you already created your digital product and have all the informations over here that you needed you can skip to the part where we start doing this later on in the video but right now we're going to create a digital product to Canva. Now we're over here at Canva. We're going to click this search button. We're going to search ebook cover. And it's going to take us to all the ebook templates that we could use. Now you're going to need to find something that you like to use. And I'm going to pick this one. Then we're, I'm going to click customize them, this template. Now over here, we can customize every element of our template. Now, as you can see down here, there's a lot of extra pages and we can just delete this because we're not going to need them. And we're going to focus on this front page. We're going to edit this because this is a template and most likely lots of people are going to use it. So we're going to change it so that it's going to be much more unique. But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this image and uh, extend this template for the image to cover the entire page. I'm going to click elements then I'm going to search this list, photos, and I'm going to pick a picture that I like the most. I'm going to choose this first picture over here I'm gonna drag it here to adjust the picture we're gonna we can double click it and then move it left to right and then we're gonna use that for now as you can see here you can uh, as you can see here the words are being covered so we're gonna click the position move it backward a bit not too much but it's a bit then we can now see the text elements we're gonna Click them, this, drag it into the middle, make sure it's centered. Now we're going to go back to elements and we're going to go to the lines and shape, put it like that, make it so that the, the, text, the text would fit. Now go here, click on position, change it to go backwards. Now we can see all the text. Now we're going to need to edit the text. I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to put, let's talk about Gumroad. And I'm going to change the author to Jasper. Now, as you can see, we have our simple cover page for an ebook. Now we're going to need to download this. Click download. After downloading, we're going to click add page, upload the downloaded PNG or JPEG, drag it over here. Now we're going to click edit image, go down over here, click on smart mockups, press see all, then we're going to find the book, we're going to find the book template over here. We're going to choose book six. Then this will turn our pic, our cover image into a 3D book. Then adjust it size. 
gonna make it bigger and there now we're gonna go back to gumroad and then we're gonna fill in the information you can add description you're gonna put how to use gumroad that everyone can hopefully understand you can create your custom url we're gonna put how to use gumroad gumroad and now over here it's requiring us to have a cover image for our digital product the requirement is 1280 pixels by 720 pixels now we're gonna go back to canva go home we're gonna click this then custom size we're gonna put in the required size 1280 to 720 click create design we're now gonna go to our template from earlier then we're gonna copy this elements that we have over here at the front copy it then paste it over here I'm gonna position it on the left side and click the background turn it the same color and now the next thing we're gonna do is get this 3d book that we got earlier copy it control P and drag it to a position that you like you can change this to a different color um, let's make it to black or gray. We're going to change this to a lighter shade of blue for the meantime so it can be easily distinguished. I'm going to make this turn this center, make it much more centered. Now, this will be our cover page for our digital product. Now we're going to click share again, download it, wait for it to download. After downloading it, we're going to go back to Gumroad, then click upload, computer files, and then click the cover that we have just created. Now the next thing we're going to need to do is a thumbnail. The thumbnail is requiring us to create a 600 by 600 pixel, which we will create once again, going back to Canva, changing the custom size to 600 to 600 by 600 pixel. Click create design. We're going back to the page that we created earlier. I'm going to copy this once again. Control C. Paste it over here and make it centered. Then we can change the background to blue. Now this will be our thumbnail. Now we're going to click share, download, wait for it, download again. And we're going to wait for it to finish downloading. Now we're going to go back to Gumroad and then click upload file, computer file, and then the thumbnail we just created. Now we can see here on the right side, we can see the update of what we just made like the cover like the description and like we're gonna see it get more updated as we complete our product information so here at the product info we can change the call to action from i want this buy this or pay we're gonna stick with i want this the summary you can add a summary like you you'll get a simple simple digital book about Gumroad. You can add additional details by clicking this, like different attributes details. There's also different integrations like invite your customer to a circle community, invite your customer to a Discord server. You could adjust the pricing. You could also choose to allow the customers to pay whatever they want. We're gonna disable that for now. There's also different versions. You could change, you could add different, different variants for this by clicking add versions. You're gonna put how to use Gumroad, Gumroad. This version we're going to, we're creating right now is the original version. 
we're gonna set it to ten dollars then we're gonna click uh, add version and we're gonna we can put how to use gumroad pro and then we're gonna make it a, a tiny bit more expensive than the original version after that you're gonna see here there's more settings like limit product sales allow customers to choose a quantity publicly show the number of sales of your product page generate a unique license mark products as e-publication for VAT purposes and the next thing we're gonna do is click content this is where you're gonna put the contents of the different variants that we had just created earlier as you can see here in the right we can see the how to use gumroad then how to use gumroad pro uh, the first thing you're going to edit is the first version and whatever the content here is what the customer will get after paying for your product so right now we're gonna put a short information like easy to use gumroad for easy to use gumroad for beginners and then on the next one the how to use Gumroad Pro, how to use it, how to use Gumroad like a pro. You could also click here to have the same content for all versions if you want. Now the next is checkout. You can add discount codes to your product. You could have payment forms and additional details. You can add receipts and many more. Uh, the next thing is to share you need to publish your product before we can share it uh, over here the right side like I said earlier is the preview of our product we could click this the preview of uh, the custom permalink has been already created uh, that means that this has already been taken so we're gonna put two and we're gonna click here again preview now it's gonna take us to this website of our digital product the here we can find the description rating the author the title the cover page that we have just created you can also see the pricing of the original and the second uh different variants the summary that we just created uh this is what our customers will see when they shop for our product we're gonna go back to edit product and then we're gonna click save and continue and then we're gonna publish and continue now over here at the product we can see that the product that we has just created is now published and with the price rate of $20 uh, revenue and sales you can sell the product by sending the link to your customers or share it in social media to have more customers when you hover over it, you're going to see delete button and duplicate button. If you want to add more product, you'd go up here, the new product and start the process uh, all over again. And that's it guys. That's how you create a digital product. That's how you sell them. And thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoy.